then something we talk about a lot in Formula One is the Y250 vortex. It starts to be rolled up. So 250, because you've got a fixed shape of wing up until uh, last year. This year is completely different. But up until last year, you had a fixed shape of wing up to and including 250 millimeters either side of center. After that, you could create expansion. And then you get quite a powerful vortex rolled up as soon as you start to create this, uh, this uh, upwash that you create with your front wing flaps. And when we first started playing with the Y250 Vortex, which was in 2009, so a very long time ago, we were not sure initially if you wanted a powerful one or not a powerful one. In the end, all teams decided it wants to be mega powerful and you use it to manage flow in other areas of the car. And that Y250 Vortex, if you focus on the top left, where you can see the, the, where a hand drawn in the circles, the blue, circle, the blue um, arrows, that Y250 Vortex does come up as you go further back. Um, so it is moving. Right. Then the next area I wanted to look at is the area that we would call, so there's an area we call the cape, which acts, if you look at the two images in the middle, um, the area that's the cape will, will act um, on that Y250 vortex uh, on its inner edge. And it actually strengthens the airflow pushing air downwards between the cape and the Y250 vortex. And the Y250 vortex in side view is highlighted in the blue circle. So you can see that it sort of traces up and then back down again. And in the plan view, so we're quite lucky with the slices here. In plan view, you can see the Y250 vortex being tracked um, a, a little bit out, then in, then, then out again. And it's being managed by all the other devices like the barge boards and, the, and the, there's some, um, a, a lot of aerodynamic devices underneath the chassis that all teams use to manage the Y250 vortex.